What is your number one skin gripe? If you are like a lot of people in my Facebook group and people that I talk to every single day, it is sagging skin. In particular, it is the lower face sag and losing the crispness of our jawline. Today's video, we are gonna go over why that happens and we're also gonna talk about some over-the-counter at-home ways that we may be able to firm our skin and give ourselves a little bit of a lift and a little bit better jawline definition. Now, if you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master as in Portland, Oregon. And today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about laxity and how we can firm and lift our skin. But I'm also going to demonstrate for you a protocol that I am going to be doing for the next 12 weeks. And I'm going to try and get a little bit of firmness in my lower face as well. Why? do we have sagging skin? First of all, we have gravity. Gravity is always affecting us every single day and it is pulling our face down, literally. It's holding us to the ground. Number two, we have fat loss. That just happens over time. Number three, and probably the biggest, the biggest thing that happens over time is the loss of collagen and the degradation of collagen. After 40 years old, we lose about 1% a year. And then when we hit menopause, it goes down 30% in five years. That drastic drop in collagen and that kind of slow, slow drop over time is responsible for kind of the structure of our skin sort of losing its framework. It's losing its glue that's holding it up and keeping it taut. And so as gravity works on us and as we lose our fat and then we don't have enough structure in there, our face just starts to droop. Now it makes sense that we're gonna droop here. This is like a cliff. We're just gonna fall off the side there. We have fat pads right here that start to go away. And the skin, as it loses its structure, it just starts to fall off there. Now, what can we do about this? Number one, we can do as much as we can to regenerate collagen. And by encouraging collagen synthesis, we are encouraging one to kind of combat that gradual loss of collagen over time, but also we're building collagen stores back up. We can surpass the 1% that we lose by doing appropriate treatments. Now, I am only talking about at-home treatments. Of course, you can get facelifts, you can get neck lifts, you can do in-office radiofrequency treatments. There's Sculptra injections. There's, you know, radiofrequency microneedling that you can do in office. And yes, 100%, Pretty much everything that you're gonna do in office or certainly with a plastic surgeon is going to yield faster and better results than anything that we're gonna do at home. But if you are somebody who wants to stick with the least invasive and most cost-effective compared to going in office, then these are gonna be the things that you can do at home that fit that bill. For today, we are going to do radio frequency at home with the NUA device. And I'm gonna explain radio frequency in a nutshell. And we're also going to follow it up with microcurrent. This is a perfect combination of two modalities that will work in conjunction with each other. They're not contraindicated to use immediately together. And what you're doing is you're working on your muscle underneath, and then you are also working on the skin immediately and in the long term. So why radio frequency? Radio frequency actually uses an energy. It uses a radio wave. That radio wave is converted into heat deep in your dermis. Now your dermis is the layer of skin below your epidermis. Your epidermis is here. It's the skin that you see and it has several layers. And then beneath that is your dermis. Now your dermis has a papillary layer, a very thin layer just below your epidermis. And then below that it has something called the reticular layer. Now don't get in the weeds over all of this, but why this is important is inside that reticular layer, there's all kinds of things going on that are really, really important to the structure and the firmness of our skin. Namely, there are fibroblasts and collagen fibers and elastin fibers and all of that kind of stuff is happening in that, happening in that reticular layer. Now, some of that is happening in the papillary layer as well, but in that reticular layer of the dermis, we have so much going on that if we can get treatments to that layer that will affect the collagen production, we are doing a good job. Now the makers of NUA are, it's ND-Med is the name of the uh, company. They actually make in-office medical grade 
radio frequency tools for doctors, plastic surgeons, dermatologists to use. This is their over the counter version of that. Now, if you want to understand radio frequency just a little bit more, what you need to know is there are different types of radio frequency. So the actual type of RF chosen is super, super important and makes a big difference whether or not you get collagen induction, you get surface treatment, or if you get fat reduction. So the NUA travels into the skin just into the dermis to generate collagen. It bulk heats the dermis and that heat helps to induce collagen. Now you get a, an immediate contraction of the collagen fibers. So you will see an immediate tightening of the skin that doesn't last. But what you also get is that collagen induction goes on and over time you have stimulated more collagen which will tighten your skin. NUA says that in 12 weeks, you can, re, you can regain 4% of collagen. So if you think about it, after 40 years old, you lose 1% of collagen a year. And honestly, that's if you're lucky. It could be a little bit more than that, depending on your lifestyle and depending on where you are in relation to menopause. And so if you are able to gain back 4% in three months, then you could be effectively turning back the clock a year or two or four, possibly. So I think that that's pretty cool. All in all, I'm really impressed with this device and I'm super excited to be testing it out. I will report back in 12 weeks and let you know the results. I'm gonna take some pictures. What I wanted to do was I wanted to start the process and bring you along with me. So for today, we are going to do a new treatment. And because I am focusing on the lower face, I am focusing on zones. I created these zones myself. This is my own protocol that I am doing and I'm gonna share it with you. The zones that I created are zone one here in the cheek area. Then zone two is this lower face and then zone three is just below the jawline. Now you can do a full new treatment. You can look at their treatment guidelines. You can, you can follow along and do an entire protocol that they call for. This is specifically to work on the lower face. So what I want you to think about is you can choose just zone two. You could choose zone two and three. You could choose zone one, two, and three. You can do it however you want to. You do not have to do your whole face, your whole neck, because each treatment zone is four minutes. Focus on that, treat only that, and follow it up with microcurrent only in that area and see what kind of results we can get for our lower face. Now, the only muscles that I'm doing with this microcurrent treatment is going to be my platysma, so my neck, I'm also going to do my Rosarius, which is here. I'm going to do my Buccinator, which is here. And I'm going to do my Zygomatic Minor, so my lower cheekbone, because we all know if you actually treat, that's why people get filler in their cheeks. If you treat this area, it actually will pull that jowl area up. So I actually do wanna treat this whole area, thinking it's like the cheeks, it's gonna pull up the jaw. Okay, I'm also gonna treat the masseter here. I've told you guys before, I said this in my microcurrent tutorial, this is responsible for giving us lift in the neck. So those are the only muscles that I'm treating to work on this lower face. The reason why I'm doing it this way is to pinpoint the lower face and to alleviate an hour and a half of a treatment. I really wanted to keep this treatment be below 45 minutes a night. Now in my blog post, I am gonna talk about how you incorporate LED. It's so easy. LED is about the easiest modality to incorporate into anything. And also how you're gonna incorporate your microneedling into this protocol. Because microneedling, as we all know, I'm a huge proponent of microneedling and it is another way to do some collagen induction therapy. Is that there will be a couple of graphics in the blog post. And what you need to do first is establish what your gripe is, and in this case, it is sagging skin. Once you've established that and you read down the sagging skin column and which modalities will address it, you go to the second graphic and you are able to choose the modality that best suits your gripe 
And then you can see what other devices work with it. I hear all the time people asking me, do you think this device is good? Do you think that device is good? And really it always comes back around to, well, what are you trying to treat? We kind of come at this whole thing from the wrong direction. We want the device first and then we try to see if we have a problem it will correct. We really, really need to assess what our main gripes are and then pick the appropriate device. This should alleviate a bunch of buying devices that don't apply to us. I'll give you a quick example. I was recently on the phone with a good friend's daughter. She just turned 30 and she wanted to know what she should be doing. She wanted advice on her skincare routine. She wanted to buy some devices. She's like ready to get into the skincare game big time. So she said, I saw this new face thing that you talk about and I really wanna pick it up, I wanna buy it. And I said, well, do you have any sagging? And of course I knew the answer, she's 30. She doesn't have any sagging. and she she said, no. And I said, then you definitely don't need to invest in a new face first. That isn't your primary concern. Your primary concern right now is, and then we went on to discuss things like pores and oil and occasional breakouts. And there are other devices that are much better suited to her at this moment in time, and also better ways for her to spend her budget. So I really, really encourage you to Take an inventory of the things that are your gripes and prioritize and then decide based on your top one or two gripes, what devices maybe you either need to invest in or which devices you already have in your arsenal that you should focus on. If you're anything like me, you want it all, all the time. But realistically, that is just not gonna work. Number one, we're not gonna focus on the things that are bothering us the most. And number two, we just don't have enough time for all of that. So for me, my main concern is sagging skin. That is my number one right now. It used to be hyperpigmentation, now it is sagging skin. So I am going to come at the sagging skin from the kind of vantage point of collagen. Collagen, 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 and re-educating the muscles on my face and my neck. That's where I am gonna attack my number one concern and that is sagging skin. I am going to end this video just playing the straight protocol. Feel free to pause if you'd like. I have a feeling that it's only gonna take watching one time before you can just do this protocol without even following along. And I also wanted to let you know that this is a giveaway, Nua and Myolift have both so generously offered to give away a device to one of you. So in order to enter this giveaway, go into the description box. I will have all of the giveaway details there. I will also have the dates of the giveaway. Be sure to check that out. This, If you're watching this video one year from now, the giveaway will be closed. So check the description box for all the details and how you enter this super generous giveaway from 70 Wellness and from Nua Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Watch this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Please visit the blog for lots and lots more details and hopefully some helpful, helpful graphics for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care. For this protocol, I'm going to use the Nua for my RF, and then I'm gonna use the Myolift Mini for my microcurrent. I'm gonna use my Myolift with wet gloves, but you can use it with prongs if you choose to. I hope that you enjoy this demonstration. We're gonna start with the Nua at home RF device. We're gonna use their delicate skin gel. It's my favorite, it's fragrance free. You just put a couple rows of it onto the device and then we're gonna work in zones. I use the device at level two. You can start at level one, just gauge your sensitivity. You turn the device on and then for the purpose of this video, I created a chart with my face and zones. For jawline tightening and lower face, we're gonna do zones two and three for this protocol. You work zone two in small circular motions for four minutes. The device will vibrate and let you know when it's done. The skin can get pink, that's actually a really good thing. Now I'm gonna move on to section three. After I clean the device, you clean the device between each zone. You're gonna repeat this on the other side of your face before you move on to microcurrent. Clean your device, 
turn it off, set it aside. Now we're moving on to myolift. The educate level two is what we're going to do. Just lifting. We're going to work on the platysma first. We're only working five muscles in this protocol. The platysma is the neck muscle that does come up over the jaw. So the motion is, as you can see, a slide, glide, and then you pinch and hold it at the jawline. You're going to repeat this slowly, much more slowly than you're watching, five to 10 times. Now we're moving up onto the jaw, still working the platysma, pinching and holding again, slow motions, repeating five to 10 times, just working on tightening up that muscle and re-educating it and shortening it. Now we move on to the masseter. This is the muscle that's on the side of the face that helps to give you kind of a lift in your neck. So again, you're gonna hold at the top of the masseter and you are just going to slide slowly five to 10 times, working that muscle, trying to shorten it up, give you a little bit of lift in the neck. Now it's the rosorius. This is the corner of the mouth out to the bottom of that masseter muscle. Same thing, you may need to pause this video because you should be doing this very slowly and repeating five to 10 times. Once you're done with the rosorius, we're gonna move on to the buccinator. It's just a little bit higher than the rosorius, similar motion, corner of the mouth out to the masseter muscle, and you're just gonna slowly work out and pinch and hold at the end. Now we are going to work the zygomatic minor. Now you can do this in the same motion that you do the buccinator and that you do the um, restorius, but I like to pinch and hold that zygomaticus minor. It's the bottom of the cheek muscle there, and I just like to pinch and hold. I feel like it gives a little bit of a lift and helps with jowls. That is the complete protocol. And we're going to repeat it, of course, on the other side. I can already tell just from doing that one side that that is up and out. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a great day.